In this class, we are going to build OCI function that is to write Excel file to SFTP server. Here the OCI function will first of all create a file or write a file in temporary directory in OCI function and then it will push that file to SFTP directory. Here we are going to make use of Excel SX writer Python module in order to create Excel file. Then we are going to make use py SFTP Python module in order to write Excel file to SFTP server. Now let's walk you through the functions code. I have already created this write excel file function as you are seeing over here. This is the same boilerplate code what we get when we write the fn init command. What I have done is I have written the implementation details in another python file over here that is write file underscore fn dot py file where I have a method or the function created with name write file. Here I am passing the excel file data which has to be written into an excel file and the sftp details sftp details will basically carry sftp directory and the file name this is the sample json request what this function will accept here excel file data will hold the data for multiple sheets suppose if you are having data for only one sheet then you can send only one iteration of this excel file data if you are having multiple then you can send it as an array so under excel file data first is sheet name element which will carry the sheet name which will be created while creating a workbook or an excel spreadsheet next it will contain the row details so row data is nothing but it will carry data which has to be written into a cells row wise like abc will be written in a single row def will come next if you are in any other rows then it will come one after the other so the first row will be header in your case if you are having any header to be written then always send first row as header next will be consequent line rows in our case this example case we are having two sheets which has to be written into excel file sheet 1 and sheet 2 and both the sheets are having this will be a first row and this will be a second under sftp details we will be passing the F sftp directory where the excel file has to be written finally and the excel file name so these are the two details excel file data and the sftp details that is this one and excel file data this we are passing it to a write file function now let me open this write file function this is the write file function which i have created which is accepting arguments i have created configuration parameters in order to hold this sftp details that is host port username and the password this is the sample response which this function will be sending back to functions.py this is just a placeholder the first thing is it has to pull the file data which is the argument number zero what we sent from fn main function to this function write file function next it will pull the sftp directory details and hold it in a variable next is a file name it will pull and store it in a write file name that is nothing but the final excel file name this is the temporary write file which will be used to write into a oci temporary file location in order to know more about temporary directory available in oci function you can have a look at this link provided by oracle or oracle cloud infrastructure documentation here there is a tabular column where it will have a matrix so what is the maximum allowed size number of files which is allowed to have in this temporary directory all those things you can get it from here next is we are going to make use of excel sx writer python module over here and we are going to write the file into a temporary file location next it will write rate over the sheets that is nothing but this if there are two sheets it will iterate twice if there is one only once it will try to add a name for this sheet with the help of this add worksheet function available in this workbook next it will iterate over the rows that is nothing but this one it will iterate one by one if there are n number of rows then it will iterate n number of times after iterating n number of times it will pull each and every row data like a b c like this and it will write into our columns then finally we are going to close if any exception occurs then also we are going to close in case of any error we are just rethrowing it outside in order to push the excel file which is locating as of now in the temporary location to sftp server we are going to make use of this py sftp module so we are trying to establish a connection and then we are just putting the file from temporary file location to remote write file location which we created it over here the directory path that's it in the response we are sending back the file name and in case of any error then we are sending the error message appropriately now let's test this function i have created the request which will be sent to our oci function so this is the post http method and i have placed the 
excel file data here i am having two sheets sheet 01 and sheet 02 and there will be two rows a b c d e f and in sheet 2 there are two rows again let me add one more row let me give the data as d22 e22 and f22 here file i am naming this as file 01 that's it i am clicking on the send button function has successfully written excel file to sftp directory and the file name it has provided over here that is file name underscore 01 dot xlsx will be created in this directory let's now go to sftp server and verify let me refresh this directory yeah there is this file generated let me download this to local computer i have downloaded the file into my local computer let me open this yeah there is this sheet 01 and sheet 02 in sheet 01 there are two rows a b c and d e f and in sheet 02 there are three rows this is exactly same what we had sent in the request this looks good suppose i want only one sheet to be present in my excel file then i am removing the second sheet details here i am giving the name as file name 02 let me hit on this test button yeah this has successfully executed the function that is it has created the file successfully let me download that file from sftp directory and we will verify as you can see there is only one sheet now so there is no second sheet created so like this we can customize excel sx file generated as per our business requirement